now. Hello? I can, I can see you, go for it. Hello, I am Joe Katz. How are you? <laughs> That's me. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, what do I do? I do a lot of different things. <laughs> Speak, think, I dig, explore, and evolve. Uh, I use a series of mediums. Uh, one of my favorite is music. Muzak. Why? Because it's a language that is communicable to all souls. It's a universal language, and it works well in your soup. But, <coughs> I like to draw as well. I speak my mind, but I believe that a global worldwide revolution is taking place as it's in equation with evolution. Right now we are leaping, right now we are jumping. In this transition, this evolutionary phase, we have found that systems became obsolete. Those that have served only those on the top, while those on the bottom have nothing. We are the mass, but unity is our greatest of all weapons, unity and awareness. We must be aware of our unity. There are many people who are throughout the fucking system, so excuse my French, who are asleep, but they can awaken through awareness. And I'm gonna draw. So tell me what inspired the work you're working on right now. The thing that inspired this was the fact that oftentimes humanity is trained to create boundaries. We create a contrast, a sense of separation, duality. And we don't need to. Uh, we use it to define ourselves, but we can create instead a unity by dissolving a need for so much personal identity. If we if you say you're not something, then you are something else. You say you aren't something. I guess the thing would be that nobody is outside of what this movement at its core and truths are really about. That this is about everybody involved. It's a humane. It's an approach towards humanity that is far more humane than what has become obsolete system that we became accustomed to, we became conditioned to, and many will fight to keep it moving even though they aren't yet aware, the light, so to speak, hasn't hit them, that it is negative, that its repercussions are negative for them. So what do you do? You awaken, you educate. Through what? Through every medium you can possibly think of. Through personal conversation, through art, through media, through music through speech, through poetry, whatever it is that is a medium, but whether you build houses or make plaques, I don't just make plaques, um, <coughs> do it, speak to the revolution that is occurring in our evolution, the revolution and the evolution are the same. Okay. Um, Currently at this moment, uh, we've been playing at several different occupies. We want to play it more. Uh, when I say we, I refer to question uh, as a project that I have now that is based upon questioning everything. Quest Ion has two different names, question or quest ion, however you want to see it. Choose your own adventure, but the question has always been the same. We have a million answers, but every time we ask a question, get an answer, yes, but then it just pops out that there are thousands more of all the questions you couldn't think of before. And so, the question, the eternal question, um, you can find us at Quest.io. I support what Occupy Flint is doing. We 
so this question we've been moving around and, and just bringing morale by playing because we believe in questioning authority we believe in questioning this authority um, <clears throat> I think one thing we all have in common here is to question the authority and then to be an alarm to it that things are not okay just as when our body is foot's broken when we get a stub toe our nerves are going crazy and our body tells us hey you fucking did this well the body of humanity has a stub toe but it's bigger than a stub toe it's pretty much cancer and the other part's smacking it awake. I mean, it's the, it's the wake-up signal that we're trying to give. Just trying to be a wake-up signal. I thought I was going to speak a little more, but I'm not at this moment, so I just did this instead. <laughs> I say that unity, I say that unity and awareness are, are strengths. By that I mean the will to question, the will to think. Um, but furthermore of that, this change is going on. Unity, by that I mean that everybody should be able to come together. At the point that we are in evolution, we should all be able to drop our separate beliefs and come together over the fact that we know change is necessary for the moment. We have to make this change happen. Of course, we have to be the change we want to see in the world. How do we do that? Where are we doing it? it just got to expand. It's just got to expand into more people. The awareness has to meet up with the awareness. The, the labels just have to dissolve a little bit more. Arsenal of art. <laughs> to see of what I have, I'm not just very sure of what I do have. <laughs> Occupation, and when I say we're, I'm referring to question, which is 
Tommy Cuss. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name. Tommy Gunn. Uh, Andrew, Andy, and me. Uh, I've already said my name, Joe Cuss. I guess it's odd. Uh, A couple of weeks before the occupation in New York began, um, you in Chicago, well, it was about the same week, <clears throat> and what we were doing, we were going to different cities and studying mobs uh, for the sake of revolution, guerrilla shows, we bring out the generator, get our uh, electronics up and running, we'd do full on shows for the sake of revolution, just bringing people out. Um, it was already in the air. It's something worldwide. Everybody knows they want to change. They just don't know whose is going to be the best. Well, we have a bunch of ideas. At least let's get together over the fact that we know it needs to change. If we can unify over this, then we can possibly talk out the ideas that we have. Like humans. Whatever that means. I mean, we're evolving to the next point. So what do you think that evolution will be? Well, I think that evolution consists of... I mean, first off, we're going to be using more of the brain, obviously. We'll use, what, 10 to 15 percent on a normal day-to-day -day basis. So, we're using that bit, that bit much more of our, our noggin. But, um, I think it's going to be very intuitive. Uh, the fact is, is we kind of developed lopsided. We developed a technological prowess as where our wisdom and spirituality did not necessarily keep up. Uh, thus, the technological was overrun by an immaturity of spirit, allowed for a breed of the heart to set in, which became a cancer, which then turned into the very thing that everybody dubs the one percent. Um, however, if that impurity creeps back in, then the whole movement, or the portion of the movement that is infected, is simply dis disenchanted from it. I mean, every particular portion of the body has the ability to separate from the greater whole. But if we keep the core values in mind, I guess the unity of the body will, will function. So you hope to see unities between different Occupy movements? Unity between the Occupy movements, I think, is essential. There's something about personal presence. When you're in the presence of somebody, uh, there's an energy ex exchange. I can't tell you um, when you're on the phone, when you're on the internet, when you're texting. It's not the same. It is. Uh, you convey what, like 15 to 20 percent of the energy that's actually there, and then you have to make up for the rest of it in your mind. Well, when you're in the personal presence, it's much harder to lie. Everybody's got to be true with themselves. Things get accomplished for real, and that's, I think that's one way to keep everybody in a cohesive alignment with each other is physical presence, yes. Having go-betweens and then having dates where everybody comes together in a central place in Michigan or in the Midwest, Chicago, Indianapolis, uh, Nashville, Flint, Detroit, Ann Arbor, Lansing, you know, all these packed into, regardless, just as long as that progression continues so that there are meetings on a bigger scale and bigger scale until it's one continuous, I, I guess, democratic machine. And it, uh, it, it, it spreads because it spreads this virus in the mind of the people, a virus only to this economic greed-driven machine. It's a virus to that, but it is something that breeds in the minds of the people, whether you're camping, whether you're not. Whether, whatever you are doing to progress the evolution of humanity right now, because the Occupy Movement feeds in to the fact that we are all changing. The Occupy Movement is saying, hey, this change is necessary because you're fucking us over. It's a warning, it's a signal, it's a 
pain mechanism that goes off in the human body. I'm going to try this pain. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's fleshy and much more pure. There are many who are asleep. People who people who are asleep that are a part of the 99%, the mass. <clears throat> but they're asleep. I mean, they're working in the system, moving through, cycling through, just to sleep. And, and if they were aware of the fact that they're part of it and they knew what was going on, I'm sure they would show effort towards it, or at least contribution mentally, emotionally, physically, or whatever, but hey, uh, that's just the, uh, it just comes down to getting everybody aware, different ways to speak to different people, because everybody speaks their own language, and that's why different genres are, arise, because different regions of people, different groups of people within the regions, all speak their own language, artistically, in verbatim, literally, musically, in government, purpose of me even naming the band question. It wasn't just I, it was all of us. I mean, each one of us had a particular reason why, uh, but it all came to us. And it, it um, question, obviously, because we believe in questioning reality, questioning everything. Questioning is the source of knowledge, and that's what science is, knowledge. We, we want everybody to question themselves and reinvent what they are. We're doing that right now, evolutionarily speaking. We're reinventing what we are. So what instrument do you play in the band? <laughs> That's a trick question. Um, I play many, many, many instruments. Um, Tommy basically stays to the drums. Uh, Andy goes between synth, steel pan, real-time keys, Yui, mainly. And then he has many others that he'll do at different times, just like I. I'll have many others that I do, but for the bass, I stick to the bass and guitar, because I switch between the two, I use a looper, and so then I'll get one particular uh, riff going of one type of sound, and then I'll overlap them using that. Um, so I'll play bass and synth and guitar and vocals. Uh, Andy sings, but not as much. Um, 